Hello, this is Dr. Kilgore from Dr. Kilgore's World with another multiplication learning video. Our learning goal in this video is that we can multiply three digit by two digit numbers. So our guiding question is how do I multiply three digit numbers? Well, really our strategies are going to be very much, very similar to multiplying two digit numbers. We're going to line up the numbers by place value, multiply the ones and regroup if needed, multiply the tens and regroup if needed, add those partial products together, and then add any commas to separate the periods. So let's do a few practice problems together just to make sure we understand what we're doing. Okay, so our first practice problem here is 246 multiplied by 36. 6 times 6 is 36, so the 6 goes down here. The 3 gets regrouped. 6 times 4 is 24. 25, 26, 27. Regroup that 2. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 is 14. Just like in the multiplying by two digit numbers, when we move over to the tens place, we start with a zero. So 3 times 6 is 18. I'm going to carry the 1, but we don't need that. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 more is 7. Now we just need to go ahead and add, oops, that looks like multiplication there. There we go, we're going to add these together. 6 plus 0 is 6, 7 plus 8 is 15, regroup right there. 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 1 is 8, and 1 plus 7 is 8. We go back to the beginning, go over three spaces, and put our comma in. And our answer is 8,856. So let's go ahead and try another practice problem here. 425 multiplied by 61. 1 is easy, 5, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 4 is 4. Done there, we've got our 6, so we start with a 0. 6 times 5 is 30, so we put a 0 down and regroup a 3. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3 is 15. Regroup. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 1 is 25. Draw our line and add. 5 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 0 is 2. 4 plus 5 is 9. And carry these down. Go back to the beginning. Go over 3 spaces and put in our comma to separate the periods. And that's that. Really, it doesn't matter how many place value spots we have in that top number. If we're multiplying by two digit numbers down here, we're going to continue the same process in the bottom. The ones place starts at the beginning and goes over. The tens place is always going to start with a zero. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up and see what we've learned. Okay, so to prepare for class tomorrow, I want you to do a couple of practice problems. Make sure you really understand three digit by two digit multiplication. And as always, if you're not sure after watching this video, rewind, try it one more time, but know when you need to stop and bring me your work and your questions so that we can work together to help you master these skills. I will see you in class tomorrow. Have a great night.